I'd like to ask you, Rob Finley, what is the biggest risk? So I'm not sure if there's one specific one. And 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 just so, you know, hopefully I I I'll I, I can give you one right now that is on top of mind for me, right? Because insurance is property insurance is property insurance that's been spoken about. And and uh, you know, fortunately we have people like you that help us real estate owners get through that, through that mess. The one thing that that property insurance people aren't going to help us with, with is what I see as this great risk is compliance and corporate risk. There is this thing out there for anybody who's in real estate. I want everybody who's in real estate who are all your listeners to understand. If you have not heard of what this Corporate Transparency Act or CTA, whatever it's called, um, is, write it down. CTA, look it up. It actually makes sure it's, it's Corporate Transparency Act. The Corporate Transparency Act is where anybody who's in commercial real estate, anybody who's in real estate, anybody who has an LLC, an entity, must file with the U.S. Treasury any type of beneficial ownership, any type of um, uh, direct control, any type of indirect, like all these different requirements. And I think where most real estate people are, they're like, eh, okay, yeah, you know what? My attorney will deal with this or my accountant will deal with this. The accountants don't want to touch it. The attorneys will have to do an incredible amount of research to, to see, and then you have to track it and do all this stuff. If you don't, so right now, if you file an LLC, if you create an LLC, I think you have like 60 or 90 days to file. But in 2024, so this year, you must file this, 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 this form with the Department of Treasury for all of your entities. And if you don't, it's a big one. Right? These are like, you're talking about like hundreds and thousands of dollars of per day fine. So what I would say is for me, from a risk standpoint, is one, this is an administrative and, and corporate risk that typically will fall under the radar until probably December, probably last week in December, when I will now need to go get information and do all this work for all of my entities. And then try to load it up into, you know, some U.S. Treasury database, right? Some form. Like I'm going to have to go sit there and input dot by dot. The systems are going to crash. It's like it's like all of a sudden telling everybody, hey, you have to file your taxes, but we're, we're you're not doing it until the last possible second, and you don't know what you're filing, right? You don't. You, you have none of the paperwork. So, to me. There are a lot of risks out there, right? You could go into data risk. You can go into you know, all this other stuff. But quite frankly, this is risk that can be avoided. Well, actually, I don't know. Can you avoid it? You can't avoid it because you have to do it, right? You can minimize it by being proactive. And third, you could probably transfer it. There are companies out there that, that will handle it for you. So, you know, you can't avoid it, but you can minimize it by being proactive and looking at it now, not December 31st.